So what's going on guys? Good morning. And how are you doing today? It's my first vlog in 2020. I hope you guys have great plans for this year. Like I am doing. You know, my resolution is you know is awesome. Well, let me tell you a little bit about my resolution. I want to make more videos for you guys. I want to cover Guyana more. I want to promote Guyana. That's my New Year's resolution. Hope you guys are planning something awesome this year. But today, I'm heading down to Money Post. That's my favorite market, right? Where you get fresh stuff and quality stuff. I've had too much meats to eat over the holidays. So my wife said, darling, can you go get fish? She put in a request for fish. So I'm heading down there. I already spoke to the two Hasa guy. Well, we share numbers now. Them boys, I have them by his numbers. So I called him and said, hey, I'm coming for some big Hasa. So they're reserving it there for me. So I'm making my way down to Mon Repose to grab those Hasa and a few more things and I'm heading back into the kitchen to start cooking. A fish curry or is that? Diane say a hot fish curry. Gonna be really, really nice right now. All right, so it's Saturday morning. It's the first Saturday after New Year's. Just wanna wish you a blessed day today, all right? So let's go down to the market, guys. Yeah. There is a policeman there directing the traffic, but still, you know, the need. I would recommend an overpass. Look at that, you good? Yeah, man. There's a lot of meat here. Uh, this is a, a, a suggestion. On market day, you should allow people to drive to this market. Hey, you there? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Don't sell. Yeah, buddy. Hey, happy New Year's, man. Everything good? All right, yeah. Well, I have made a suggestion to the police not to allow cars in the market, through the market, through the street during market days. But they didn't even acknowledge me. So it seems that, you know, Nobody seems to be taking advice. Yes, sir. I see you now, really, guy. Sorry, I like sorry. Your hey. I found you for YouTube. Nice man. Happy New Year's. Good. Fish will go for water. Yeah, man. Sorry, sorry. Uh, how you doing? Good morning. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's up? Hey, go, friend. Man, they got all the trench fish sheep and this man. Oh, got a crab. Oh, they got a friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, happy New Year's to you tomorrow, yeah. No. What are you doing, buddy? All right, all right. I hear when you buy your house, I hear them clean them for you, too. Are you not considered 2020? I hear my dog cook them for the people, them, too. Back with that stove, I cook the house, huh? You got a nice friend, get back with it. What are you doing? How much are you doing? How much are you doing? How much are you 15,000 15,000 What's that? That was them, the 5 US We got some Oh This fish is what you call Silver bait or celebre Got a fish, right hand okay. We got some tilapia Mullet, square mo, bango We got gill back over there so. We got market kind of busy right now. Fish. Everybody trying to get a fish today. Why that way? Yeah, why that? I don't realize. How much you catfish today now? Price went up or same thing like last year? Same thing like last year. All right. We got some shark over there. Look at that, bro. Hey, we got. Kingfish, Boras. You got high water, what happened? Happy New Year's to you. Hey, y'all, friend, happy New Year's, man. Hi. 
This is, is the dry fish or the canned fish, smoked fish that I met the cook up with all years night. So I get him a smoked fish there. So y'all check out this lady in the market for the smoked fish. So this man got some giant tasks in here. That's not a lot big, you know, very big one anyway, tell me about the, the jumbo one. Size. That medium size. This man know the big one in the cook for man. You sell the big ass one, man. The big ass one, man. Give me 5,000 and this side you are right? Alright boy, thanks. Give it up for me. Yeah. Yeah. This one, there's a Hassa lady there. Yeah. How much do you have today? 10,000. 10,000, that was about 20 there. About 16, 20, that's a big Hassa. 17, okay, big, big Hassa. Alright. And my Coney, you come from, right? I remember you, yeah. More and more Guyanese are adopting to the YouTube and social media thing, man, which is a good thing, you know. But the market is busy here today, man. It's about 10 o'clock. And got the business. Yeah, man. So I see some dry shrimp here. So let me pick up a little dry shrimp. Sorry, buddy. How much do you dry shrimp, Tazu? Dry shrimp. Okay. Uh, give me the pork and the pigeon peas. You got, you got, the, you got the green one? Don't smoke a pepper for the green peas. You can't buy this one out now. All right. So good. So good. Yeah. Very well. All right. Then. I'll make a whole list. 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 fish. It's worth real nice. <laughs> smoke. Yeah, let's smoke fish again. So let me get some seasoning from Nani here. Nani! Morning, happy new year. How you do? Good. So we'll get a piece of fine time and celery from you there and married man. Right? Alright, so we got wide variety of snacks there, egg ball, polori, cassava ball. Burgers and things. Yeah, bye. Check on the car, you know, in a How much you come on? Come on, 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 <laughs> you alright? You're a good friend by the Lux. Well, I'll see my friend then, Lux. This is the only man that sells used balance and used car island, so. I'll take it. So, wait, are we gonna drink something? This is my good friend, hey man, Lennox. I'm gonna put him on YouTube, right? <laughs> when you want your greens and your balance and your same and thing, check out this man here, hey, Morocco Market. Don't try to leave Sunday here. All right. Yeah, yeah. Crack it here. Mullets. Nice yeah, mullet. So I'm back in the kitchen. And look what I got here. So, earlier's night I made a pigeon peas cook up. So, the cook up tastes are good. I'm gonna repeat the process. Now I got my two fine sides of dry pigeon peas. I got my dry my smoked coras. I got my ponda dry shrimp. I got my edo leaf there. So sometime, maybe Sunday or Monday, I'm gonna make a nice pigeon peas cook up once again because everybody who ate the cook up say it tastes are good. I gotta repeat the process, right? Now today I'm making some hassa curry, some fish curry. So I got my lady finger here, okra, I got my mango, celery, fine thyme, shallot, margman. Of course, I could see some bancarella in the market, I couldn't pass this. 
got some nice hassa here. I got about three dozens of hassa, ranging from five inches to eight inches. Good size for cooking and eating. So I got my garlic and pepper grind up there. I got some salt, car powder, masala, jira, tomorrow. Look at all these fresh herbs. Got my kahari hat up there. Got the hasa in there, or cascadu, or armored catfish. I already got the rice finished boiling. Actually, Megan boiled the rice today. And I got a gallon of fresh coconut water. This is my garden. Miss Lynch and I started the garden. We got some fine thyme there. We got a tomato tree. I see it started to blossom. We got some pepper tree. This is another Maruri pepper. This is another pepper tree. You can actually see the pepper there. Chili, chili pepper. Of course, you have the curry leaf here. But we don't want to pick bandana. We don't want to pick it as yet because it's, it's young. We got some aloes and of course we have our celery. It's on water, darling. It's dry. And down here we got our shallot and parsley. So we got a garden growing, eh? even though small place I got, I still have him a little garden. This I'm talking about. So I'm gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes, then I'm gonna add some water. So I'm adding my moringa and my mangoes so it can boil along with the fish. And I'm adding some coconut milk to add some extra flavor. So guys, I want you all to see what a man's kitchen looks like, okay? This toolkit I'm using to mount my camera, right? So that's not part of the, the kitchen. So this is how you should do, y'all. When you're cooking, please clean your kitchen. So guys, I'm teaching you a kitchen tip. Now while I'm waiting for my curry to finish, I bought a piece of pumpkin. So I'm gonna prepare my pumpkin and leave it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag. So when I'm ready to cook it, another day. I don't have to go peel my pumpkin. I don't have to go wash my pumpkin and cook it. It's already done, making cooking easier. So let's see what the curry looks like. They're bubbling. Guys, the good thing about Christmas, I gained something. I gained 10 pounds. I'm sure many of you gain a lot of weight for this holiday. So look at me, I've gained 10 pounds. We have fun. Family and friends, good company, good times, great atmosphere, great food. But in the meantime, I'm alone in the kitchen. My wife is not around. So I'm going to go to the, the pantry where I hid a bottle of vodka and I'm going to get a shot. She'll be taking a little coffee. I got a bottle of Rebusi. Yeah, please don't tell her. I gotta go back and hide the bottle. And you remember the gallon of fresh coconut water? It's right here. So I'm gonna fill up my glass, my coffee mug. Cheers, Happy New Year. This one hot. I'm going in, into the pot to show you. To show you what it looks like. Oh gosh. Look how the casco do bubble in there. Or the armored catfish or the or the hassa. Coming to life, y'all. So I'm gonna add my tomatoes and my scallion and my celery. And let it simmer down for five minutes more and it's ready to eat. This is the beauty about living in this country. Now, I'm outside, I'm in front of my 
We call it veranda here in Guyana. You guys in the US call it the back patio. So I'm outside. The breeze is awesome here. It's very windy today. And I'm enjoying the outdoors. I'm having my lunch outside on my veranda. Well, this is the beauty of living in Guyana, South America. So we're gonna taste this food here, y'all. So I got my moringa, I got my pepper here. First I wanna taste the rice and the gravy. Tell you if it if it's good. This food tastes good. Trust me, I'm gonna finish up this plate in no time. Cheers, y'all. And remember, I got my coffee here. I'm actually my lunch. I'm sipping on some Grey Goose for y'all. Please don't mention in the comment that I was drinking Grey Goose, okay? Cheers. I don't want my wife to find out. At least I was to be on a diet. As I was making the Hasa curry, I spoke to my friend Ricky. Ricky is the R in the ARD. I said, hey bro, I'm making hassa curry today. He said, you know what? I have those hassas you sent for me last week. I'm gonna ask my wife Anna to make kaskadu or hassa curry. So here you're gonna see my friend's wife, Ricky's wife, Anna, making kaskadu curry. That's Trinidad call it kaskadu. So have a look at what it looks like the Trinidad's way. Hi, good day everyone. Um, yesterday, our friend Danny from the ARD group was cooking hassa, or as we would say in Trinidad, cascadu. And these babies came from beautiful Guyana. Compliments of our friend Danny. And today I'm going to be cooking it also. So I have all our condiments here, the curry powder and the seasoning. And usually in Trinidad, I'm from Trinidad of course, um, I'm Ricky's wife, and usually in Trinidad, We'd cook a uh, cascadu, as we call it there, with peas, but I'm going to use some root vegetable edos today. And we got a fresh coconut, which I blended before and got the milk on the cream from it. So we have to cook these babies with all the good stuff here. All right, so I'll keep you updated and I'm going to season up this uh, hasa or cascadu right now and show you the preparation going into currying these babies okay guys so this is my seasoned product of course with all of the herbs and seasoning that I had before on the board and I'm about to start the cooking process so I'll keep you updated meanwhile again and show you the finished product and while it's cooking actually I'll show you how it looks in the pot meanwhile every good hard-working chef needs to have a man's beer so Cheers guys. Okay guys, I'm about to add the coconut cream in and let it cook down and in approximately 25 minutes or so, I'll plate it and show you guys how delicious this comes together. Hi everyone, so this is our finished product, the curry cascadu or hasa with side condiments of avocado and cucumber. So I hope you all enjoyed our video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And from our home to yours, everyone have a blessed day. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, show us some love. Share this video if you like. Happy New Year's to you and your family once again. From GT, we love you. See you in the next video.